Today is my mother-in-law's birthday. We always make cakes for each other when we have birthdays in our family, and they're always homemade. We don't buy them from the store. Whoever's birthday it is can request whatever cake they'd like. Today is my mother-in-law's 79th birthday, and she's asked me to make her a German chocolate cake. It's really not one of those tedious type of German chocolate cakes. It's actually a German chocolate cake that we'll be making from a box by Pillsbury. It says super moist German chocolate cake. That's how easy the cake is. Then to top off our cake, cake with a pecan coconut frosting, which is by Betty Crocker. This is really good stuff. This is one of those keep it super simple recipes. My mother-in-law is very picky about her food. She's not on a gluten-free diet. And if you're on a gluten-free diet, then I would suggest that you have some ice cream because that's what my husband's gonna have. He's going to be eating some pomegranate ice cream that he really likes and I'm gonna take that for him since he can't have the cake. So I want to show you this beautiful plant that we brought from my mother-in-law. A part shade, new guinea impatient that is really pretty. My brother-in-law already came home from Hawaii and he decorated my mother-in-law's patio. He spruced up her flowers and her trees and shrubs and everything. Now we'll be adding this wonderful plant to this garden that she loves. It also has a nice canopy in it that one of her other sons bought for her a couple of years ago for Mother's Day. So let me show you how this recipe is made. So what you want to do with your box cake is just follow your directions on the back of this box. Now one way that you can cut the fat is where it calls for oil back here. It says um, a third cup of vegetable oil. Now what I've done for my cake mix is I've added in a third cup of unsweetened applesauce. That's also my mother-in-law's recommendation years ago. And that's what I do to kind of cut the fat and cut the calories. I have my batter here in two nine inch round cake pans that have been sprayed with a non-stick spray. I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. And what I'll do now is pop these little guys in our oven and let them bake for about 30, 35 minutes. And I'll see you back in a little bit. You want to place your cake pans side by side in your oven and that way they'll bake evenly. You don't want to have one on your top shelf and one on the bottom. That wouldn't be a good idea because one's going to bake quicker than the other. All right, so I'll see you back here in about 30, 35 minutes. All right, here we are. Our timer just went off, so I'm going to check our cake with a toothpick to make sure it's done. One out real quick. Or in my case, you can use a skewer too if you have those. I'm sure you might also have a skewer because it is summertime. We, everyone uses these for grilling. Make sure that it's done and it comes out clean. That came out clean. It's all ready to go. I'm going to take the other one out too. Okay, there it is. Now I have two warming racks here. And what we'll do is just flip these over right onto our warming racks. It should come out pretty easily. Okay. Now if it doesn't come out perfect, don't worry about it. Just get a spatula and just take it out real simple, easy, and put it right back where it goes. There. There we go. Second one, I think what we'll do is loose the sides of the pan and make sure the sides of our pan are loose because that's what I didn't do. And if you don't do that, what's going to happen is it is going to be staying stuck to the bottom. All right? You can even take your special and pull up on it a little bit on each side, just like I'm doing. That looks really good. All right, and here we go. This one over. Woo, thank you, Jesus. It worked. <laughs> okay, there we have it. Our German cake is cooling. And we'll give it about 15, 20 minutes to cool off, and then we'll, I'll show you how to frost it up. Here we are. We're back. I have a serving tray that we're going to use to put our cakes on. And what I'm going to do first of all is just take one of my cakes that is cooled off, place it onto my cake dish. Flip it over with your hand, and then just lay it on. And we'll get a little closer for the next one. And there's our first one. Now we'll frost the center of our one cake here. And to do that, we'll just use a knife that's flat. I like to use a butter knife. We'll just get this in real quick. There you go. Now you can have a real small, thin layer of this coconut pecan because it is very, very rich. So you don't need a lot. A little bit in this case goes a long, long way. All right. Matter of fact, my mother-in-law requested that we only bring her half a cake but I told her I'd go ahead and make the two-layer cake, and then we'll bring back home what she doesn't eat or what we don't eat together. She um, has, <laughs> she told me she's downsizing, so I guess she's downsizing with the cake, and we're taking her meals on wheels. <laughs> and we'll come over to our second one. As you can see, it has a couple little cracks, but that's not going to hurt anything. Here we're going to take our hand, place it down on our cake, lift up our cooling rack, and flip. Look at that. Over. All right, 
there it is. Now it's, my hand is here and I'm holding the cake. What I'm going to do is just come over. Here's our first cake and I'm just going to lay it right on my first cake. Just like so and push it over a little bit just to make it even. I just want to square it up here or round it up in this cake. This is a round okay, cake. Okay, here we have it. Our Keep It Super Simple Cake is all done. It's a German chocolate cake that we frosted with a coconut pecan frosting and it looks wonderful. I would love to try it for you but I have to take this over to Grandma's so I'll try it later. And don't forget the candles. Well, I have a 7 and a 0 here and a 4, so I'm going to have to see if I can find a 9 to go with that because she's 79. If not, we probably have some plain candles that I can just make a 9 with. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you try this marvelous cake that is so simple to make. You just, as you can see, this was real quick, real simple, so give it a shot and let me know how it goes. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.